Nick, you talked before about how you still enjoy doing what you do, but I, I noticed there's a like a Vegas book who set an over under for your retirement year. I think it's like five and a half years. But th does that amuse you when you hear things like that? <laughs> well, that's the first I heard of that one, but it's, it's amusing. Um, you know, after the six hours I spent at home in the chair after I got home from the hospital, I think you all heard that um, I was outside walking around in the yard, and you know, I think Miss Terry was ready to call the police on me if I didn't get back in the house. So that's not something that I enjoyed. So, um, and that's not something I really want to do anytime soon. I can tell you that. But um, you know, I, I just enjoy so much being part of the team. I enjoy so much the relationships. Uh, you know, to have Julio Jones come back the first two days I was doing my rehab on my hip, he was there with me doing it. Um, you know, Tua actually came in yesterday when I was doing rehab and gave me a medical examination. So, you know, some of these things are, are really special. So, no time soon. I don't know what Vegas knows that I don't know. <laughs> are you feeling 100% after your surgery yet? Um, I, I don't know about 100%, but at least able to do everything you need to do without hurting anything. So, but I, I think it'll still take a few weeks probably of strengthening to get back to normal or 100%. Nick, the NCAA has put together a group to study this name, likeness, and, and image thing. Do you think we're getting closer to losing the amateurism in, in college football? And does that concern you a little bit? Well, I, I think there's probably some ways that um, – and I think we have some really good people who are studying the options to uh, be able to maintain some kind of amateur status, you know, kind of like they do in the Olympics, uh, and you know, still reinforce you know player brand, and, um, but still maintain the integrity of you know college football. Nick, you mentioned that it's remains to a, and you really want the entire team to embrace it, something with the mentality. What's behind that? What, what do you feel like this team needs to prove? Well, I don't think we finished like we wanted to finish last year. You know, you've heard me talk about you know, the Bama factor. and uh, I don't think we had all those ingredients toward the end of the season. And I don't think that we improved toward the end of the season. And, you know, if you're going to have a chance to win a championship, you know, that's, that's critical. I mean, when you look at the teams that we played down the stretch from LSU to Mississippi State to Auburn to you know, Georgia in the championship game, Oklahoma, Clemson, you, know, you better be improving, you better be hitting on all cylinders, and the players better be paying attention to detail and preparation, how they practice, or if you're going to get exposed by good teams. And hopefully we learn something, you know, from that, and we'll be able to do a little bit better in the future. Coach, talk about Last question here. Hospital, uh, looking at doing renovations for the stadium. What is that safety success that you brought to this program? Well, I, I think it speaks volumes of, you know, the commitment to a standard of excellence that the athletic department, Great Burn, the university, um, all have to try and to continue to be the best. And um, you know, I think that, you know, to stand pat and everybody else is sort of chasing you and what you do, they're eventually going to catch you. So I think to be aggressive in how we go about trying to make improvements is, really, really important to continued success. And uh, I don't think it's any different than what we try to do, you know, as a football team. You know, you're always trying to find a better way. Uh, you're always trying to improve uh, your brand and how you do things. So uh, and I think it's what one of the things that make it special being the coach at Alabama is, you know, to know that you have an administration and a group of people who are, you know, have those same goals and aspirations. Uh, really is helpful because you're not ever, you know, asking or begging for things to get done that you feel like need to get done. Everybody's just trying to cooperate to do the things that need to do the best.